Hey friends, I know it's kind of dark. I can't reach the light. I'm laying here flat on my back. Um, this is the morning after surgery. <laughs> Mikey ran down to get some breakfast. Um, chose not to eat this morning because I want to make sure everything is okay uh, if something did happen and she wanted to she had to go back in if I rejected overnight I don't want to have anything on my stomach I did I wasn't thinking about it and I ate a one of the tiny little saltine crackers and a sip of ginger ale so I'm I'm praying and proclaiming to God that this worked um, Especially after everything that happened yesterday, my surgery being late. Um, but just wanted to check in and I had a good night. I slept good. I feel like I slept good. I am bandaged up here. I don't I think she'll take these off this off today and check it. They said I would have to sleep with this for a while just to make sure I don't scratch it in the night. But um I am one to sleep on my side. I usually roll to my right side. Uh oh. If I can show you how I rigged it up here, I put my, I have a bamboo pillow, so I put it, and it's pretty heavy, so I like wedged it up under my left side so that I wouldn't flip over. Um, I found that even with my BiPAP mask, I, I'll go to sleep on my back and then wake up in the night, and I'm either on my left side or on my stomach, and I've, and it's even sometimes worse with my BiPAP because I can have my mask on and I'll be I have my mask buried into my pillow, but um, hopefully I stayed on. I, I know I didn't roll to my left because I couldn't, and then Michael was on my right, so he was. I told him get up against me so I can't roll. But um, I feel like I had a good night. I slept good. I don't remember much from the surgery. I do remember talking to them a little bit um, toward the end. Sorry, oh, Mikey called me to see if. I wanted him to bring me something for later. What was I talking about? Hmm. I think I was talking about, I remember them talking to me a little bit in surgery, um, toward the end, maybe. I all I could see, they had something over my face, so all I could see was light. I couldn't really actually see around the surgery room, which was, that was my main thing. I didn't want, I wanted to be asleep where I didn't know anything, but even though I was talking to them, I really didn't care what they were doing. My dad kept telling me that's the way it would be, but I kept thinking, how can how can you be talking to them and doing what they're telling you but not care? Well, it happened. I didn't care what they were doing. Um, so I feel, I remember being very calm. I wasn't panicky. I was afraid that I was gonna be panicky if I wasn't completely asleep. And that was not the case. So if you're considering this surgery and that's one thing that concerns you, then just know that from a person that is very panicky about things like that, that's not the case. I, I felt very calm. I felt very comfortable. Um, I didn't care what they were doing. It was, um, I had a great and awesome, um, which my doctor is awesome anyway, I know that already, but the anesthesiologist was amazing. I want to try to get her name so that the next time I have my, my left eye, um, maybe I could try to get her again. But I thought that I would be dreading my left eye um, so far. I mean, this is just one day after surgery, but if everything goes as smooth as that did, my surgery, my first night, um, if my recovery goes just as smooth, then I'm going to be anxious to get my other eye done. I'll be, we are looking at maybe December to do my left eye. So, um, I'm going to be anxious to do that. So, I just want, you know, the whole purpose of these videos is to try to help other people that might be going through this. And if you are as anxious as I am and as nervous, just know that um, coming from a very anxious person this experience so far has been great and um, it's like I wonder why was I so nervous why but you know it's the unknown that's that's the whole thing the unknown 
and I kept trying to look for videos and nobody's talking you know I couldn't find any about Fuchs dystrophy where people were talking about the beforehand of surgery the way they felt before um, and it just that's why we we started this video series so just be blessed let y'all I know that God God has you and I felt all the prayers that everybody was praying for me and um, I got a lot of messages yesterday before my surgery this is looking very blurry so I hope that it's not blurry on camera um, but then again my left eye hasn't been done yet and I don't have my glasses on so um, I wanted to thank everybody that's prayed for me we um, have just been covered in prayer and positive messages and encouraging messages and I'm just in awe of all the even strangers that I don't know that have been praying for me and for my donor because we've reached out um, well not reached out you know hopefully I'll get to meet my donors family but um, we're trying to bring, bring awareness to the donor process the tissue and organ donor process and the um, get the word out there that it is important to be a donor and and to love these donor families and I just am so amazed at the people that have prayed for my donor's family and I, I, I hope and I pray that they can feel those prayers but um, we're gonna my doctor's very open she's um, excited about the the awareness that we're trying to bring so we're gonna see if we can video that process this morning I hear Mikey coming in um, video her taking my bandage off so um, we'll get that on video if she'll let us but if not, then we'll video afterward. I don't know how to turn the camera around to Mikey, but he just came in. Want to say anything, Mikey? What are we talking about? Well, I know it's dark in here and I'm probably blurry. I don't know. I can't tell. But just kind of a morning after. Ah, let there She's be light. <laughs> let there be light. Just kind of. The morning after surgery, what I remember from surgery, not much. I don't remember nothing from surgery. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's, again, still been super amazing. Could not have done it without him. Um, so I pray if you go through this, you have a good support team because that has been the key for this whole thing is a good support team. If you're watching this and you don't have a good support team, message us, email us. We are here for you. Um, I would love to be able to be there for someone, anybody else that's having to go through this to help you get through it and process it. But until we get a bandage off, see y'all later. Everything. I thought you brought my pink bag. I did, but it's in the car. I don't need it. Curve, I'm sorry. That's okay. I can't. I don't know. I'm going to have a rant coming up. The video. There's a rail over there. Right there. Put your hand down. Problem here is the tape, okay? Ah, this pulls quick. <laughs> is that how you're supposed to do it? Well, I didn't get my eyebrows waxed, so if you wanna, maybe it'll wax them. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes. Mm. Open your eyes. I'm scared too. Why? <laughs> I 
don't know. Can I open it now? You can open it. I can open it. Mm -hmm. Oh. What can you see? Nothing but a big light, a bright light up here. Two bright lights. Is that normal? Yeah, you're you're not going to be able to see anything for maybe one week. Okay. Because. Yeah, there is a bubble there. Yeah, there is a bubble. Let's see. See, there is a bubble there. Can you see so it? So they put it yep. to push the yep. cells against the corn. It's almost as big as so your iris. So it's going to be gone in one week. Okay. What What does that bubble consist of? It's some kind of a gas, right? It's just air. Air? Okay. Let me give yeah. this to you. She's going to check your vision again. You know that thing you hate oh. to do? Uh, yeah. And I'm going to check the pressure. You hold it over here. Can you see my hand here? Usually you don't see much. I I mean, I can tell like... That I'm moving, right? waving something so in front of me. Can you count fingers? I, no. No. Yeah. That's I, how it is. I see two lights in the top. Yeah. Yep. I guess it's those two lights and they're like the lights there. Lights there. Yeah. Let me give you a little job to check. I could tell that you were moving, but I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah. Okay, let me give you a tissue. Okay. Look out for me. And I'm going to give you a little job to check the pressure. And this drop sometimes burns <laughs> a little bit. No, mm -hmm. I see four lights. <laughs> you were using the eye drops already? Yes. Yeah. You, um, you, you were using before the surgery, right. correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you want to check it with that? I thought you was going to do check it with the other thing. Okay, just look straight ahead now. And I'm going to touch your cornea here very gently to check the pressure. Good, pressure's great. Oh, yay. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to take you to see Dr. now. Alrighty. So I'm okay still looking forward? You are. Oh, okay. okay. lights are kind of right no it just is weird am I dripping I can't tell I'm still feeling a little numb it's gonna be numb for maybe five minutes but I was I felt like I was still feeling a little numb from the surgery is that from the surgery yeah sometimes you can Probably what your daddy did. First time wasn't real good, so he figured it out. Well, let's see what she says about what your time frame for being up in the bed is. Like yeah. last night, she said five, ten, fifteen minute break is okay, but don't look straight down. Yeah. We'll see if she gives you any more don't time. Don't look up. straight down, or don't move my head down. Well, don't bend over looking down. I looked down this morning and I didn't mean to. I didn't put my head down. Come on in, sit right in here. We'll come get you in just a bit. Okay. Yay! Yay! We did it. We did. It was you did great it. Effort. I know. It takes a village, doesn't it? It does with me. I'm so sorry. I'm so difficult. <laughs> You're not so difficult. Come on, poor darling. She didn't eat nothing. She ate very little this morning, worried about. I know, because I'm really <laughs> bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit nauseous this morning, so. I yeah. ate one little, have you ever had the premium mini saltine crackers? Yeah. I love those when I'm nauseous. And I had like a sip of ginger ale, and then I was like, no, wait a minute, I can't eat anything. I want to make sure. You're perfect, sweetie. Well, you know what happened to my dad, so we don't mm -hmm. want that. Blink, blink, blink. But you didn't lick them last night, did you? No. Yeah. Well, you mean you can tell? Can you tell if I didn't look down? Maybe. Well, your gas is in the front chamber of your eye. It looks cool. perfect. Because I did look down one time. I didn't look my head down, but I looked my eye down, looking for something on the, like on the table. So I didn't know if that was okay, and so that kind of wigged me out. 
Nope, you're great. You're perfect. I'm not great job. Oh. Yay. So um, you don't have to position flat anymore. Although, um, I don't. Okay. nope, although I still don't want you to look down. So the gas so is still. So when you say don't look down, do you mean don't look my head down or don't look my eyes down? So, so mainly both. Okay. Both. But mainly leaning over with your head is what I mean. Okay. A quick little glance is unlikely to do anything at this point. Right. But you can see the gas bubble. Come here, I need to actually show you this. This filming. So the um, you can see the meniscus of the gas bubble, that little line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what you're watching go away. So she won't be able to see anything until the gas bubble is above her pupil. So okay. you can see how now it goes all the way through the pupil. Yes. So uh, it'll go up like this. And then once it gets above her pupil and it's a small little round circle, mm -hmm. she doesn't have to position anymore. You don't have to worry about the no looking so down. Once it's above oh, okay. the pupil, she's yep. good. Yep. And um and not a line but a round circle. Okay. So how long does that use? A couple days. Yep. So if it were to be a line, am I in trouble and I need to call you? Or no, it is a line right now. For the, oh, for the okay. just let him tell you. You won't okay. be able to check you won't be able to evaluate it yourself at all. Except you'll be able to see when you can actually see you'll notice right. that. But um, he'll need to actually look at that for yeah, you. Yeah, my dad said he just yeah. went to the bathroom and then night, one night turned the light on and was like, oh. <laughs> he said it kind I of can scary see him at first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so little glances are unlikely to cause an issue, but I, I like people just to try not to look down while that bubble is still in the front right. chamber. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then um, in terms of you can sit up more today, I would still try to lay down flat while the gas is in your eye because it is supportive to the graft edges. Yeah. So, um, you know, when you do lay down, lay flat, but you don't have to do it all day. You can be up a bit more. So, okay. but still take it easy. You know how to lay down. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. so patient with me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have yeah. any issues? <laughs> no you want a picture of y'all? No. Picture with you and her. Both of you guys. Hi, hey, y'all. Kelly got this bracelet on yesterday, too. Warning gas bubble in eye, use of nitrous oxide, where a change in atmospheric pressure may cause an increase in her ocular in pressure. The... Ah. Resulting in blindness. Contact ophthalmologist on reverse side of bracelet before treatment. And on the back it's got Dr. Neff's name and information, uh, contact information, get a hold of her. But just something else, if y'all ever have to have the procedure done, this is what you'll get. So what you think? I can't see a thing except <clears throat> light. I can see a little light, but nothing. What? Like it's just a total blur. But I feel good. Can you see my bubble? Okay, um. I feel really good. I just I got I just got back from the doctor. Um. She said that everything looks good. I I don't have to be 24 hours a day on my back right now. I can look forward. She does still go back that way. Yeah, <laughs> the light. Yeah, the light. Bright light looks really weird in it. I can't see anything at all. Um, the nurse covered my left eye and then was like waving her hand in front of me. I couldn't see her hand. I could just tell that she had, she was like moving something in front of my eye, but to see what it was, I couldn't see. But um, she wants me to lay flat as much as I can over the next couple of days, but I don't have to stay flat all the time. So I'm fixing to lay back down and look up. I still can't look down and I can't bend over for the next, next two weeks. She wants me to take it easy, no lifting, no bending, um, no strenuous, I can't sweat. Good luck with that, because I'm a sweater. Um, what else? Am I missing something? I don't think it's no strenuous activities. No strenuous activities. Apparently, I have a floppy iris, <clears throat> which isn't common. But again, I got that from my daddy. <laughs> he said he didn't remember her telling him that, but she did tell Michael yesterday that um, that my dad had that and that I've got it and I'm not sure exactly what it is that my my iris folds is that what it it collapses it says prolapse it, when she took the lens out <clears throat> I don't know about it being floppy I guess it's just moving around in I, there I thought you said that's what she called it so she called <clears throat> it floppy oh. iris okay well whatever that is I've got it um, but I feel good. I feel like I slept good last night. I think I've already did a video this morning, but 
my first visit was positive so my next one will be July 9th I've got to come back down here and her look at it um, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure this cornea does not reject my dad I talked I called my dad right after we left the doctor and he told me you know he, he was encouraging and he was like you know what kind of gift you got somebody had to die for you to be able to get that cornea and see so don't you do anything that's gonna make it reject and I'm, I was like yeah, absolutely I feel like me and this cornea were meant to be I don't know if we shared yesterday but 98% of the time I am late six minutes late I've told Michael that when I pass away he better start my funeral six minutes late and my cornea was late yesterday and I wasn't upset. I thought it was very comical because I'm late and it just made me know that me and my, don my donor, this cornea and I were meant to be together. That might sound crazy and stupid, but that's the way I feel and God's got a sense of humor by making that cornea late. But um, the research that I had done says they, they have to use the cornea within seven days of it being harvested. Um, my doctor yesterday told me she doesn't like for it to be more than three days um, and if Michael wants to share what uh, Emily shared with him about Dr. Neff that makes me feel even better and know that her success rates are so high because she is so strict about her corneas but do you want to share what she had told you well her schedule Emily said that <clears throat> If you want to say it, her standard or her criteria for her corneas are very strict and I asked Emily if I could get that information and she said I'd have to talk to Dr. Neff about that but that's a possibility that we could share that with you too. To, yeah. There's a lot that I don't know about that goes into um, collecting the, the tissue and the tests and there's just a lot to it. You would think it'd be just going in and taking a corny out and shipping it on, but there's there's more to it than just that, and I don't know what it is exactly. But hopefully, we can share that information with you later down the road. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I ever shared this, but I was an L tech for 14 years, <clears throat> and I actually used to have a client that her job was removing the corneas out of the deceased eye, and. I didn't realize at the time that I had contact with her and she would tell me stories and they were very interesting stories I wish I still had contact with her but um, I didn't realize at that time that one day I would be so close to a deceased person's cornea or I would have asked a whole lot more questions but um, I am very thankful especially you know my dad sharing that with me it's something that he's not shared with me since his cornea um, operation and he did share with me that the VA had sent him a letter about his cornea they didn't tell who who his donor was but shared with him that he could um, write the family a letter which he did and I, I, I didn't know that until today so I feel good knowing that he actually sent his donor a letter his donor family and I plan on doing that too we got the address today where I can send it but again, just my cornea being late was just, it. instead of making me nervous because I had uh, my surgery was scheduled for one and they my cornea didn't end up getting there until... Probably about quarter to four. Three, 14, uh, yeah, 330, right around 330-ish. And Michael did, I heard them coming down the hall because, and I think in another video I told you that they don't put it on ice. Um, that's what I read, but it was in an ice cooler and he did hear ice sloshing, so I don't know. Or I heard the ice sloshing coming out. I heard the ice sloshing. <clears throat> I seen somebody walk by with like a styrofoam container. Yeah, and we're hoping that we got it on video because we're thinking that he was videoing me. I haven't edited any of this video yet because I can't see. But we're going to try to work on, I'm going to try to get Michael Hatton. Usually, he don't usually do the videos. So I'm going to try to guide him into trying to get that video up of my surgery yesterday. I can't see to do it, but if I can guide him, maybe he can get that up this afternoon or tomorrow. But um, I, I did hear something coming down the hall and we're thinking that he was videoing them getting me ready. They must have called ahead and said, because they said, your cornea is here, we're getting you ready. Um, so we're hoping that it, it got on video of them walking past the room with it. You can't see it, but you can hear it. Oh, you can't see it? Well, mm -hmm. but you, I guess we can hear you saying, was that her cornea? <laughs> so um, 
I'm I'm just I didn't get nervous because it was a long wait because they didn't start my surgery till four. Took you so, back a little bit before four o'clock, probably five minutes. So my surgery was five, four hours late. Before. Um, the, the anesthesiologist was amazing. I really want to get her name for my other surgery because she was amazing. She tried to keep me calm. She gave me something to calm my nerves. It, it kind of worked, <clears throat> but I felt like it wore off. So, but I was unusually calm the whole day. I think, I mean, I still was a little nervous, but not as nervous as I thought I was going to be, but I, I just feel like I was covered in prayer. And I could feel everybody's prayer, so I thank you all that were praying for me. And Michael said my phone's been blowing up all day, so that just makes me feel even better. So he's going to sit down here and return some text messages, because I can't see. Um, and we'll hopefully get the other video up tomorrow. Um, we'll probably be a few, you know, a couple of days behind on each video, but we'll do our best. And thank you guys for watching these videos. And I, I, I ask you to share them so that we can get the awareness out there how important it is to be a cornea or organ donor, organ tissue donor, and how important, you know, without these donors, I wouldn't be able to see. My doctor did tell me, and I saw that there are um, artificial corneas out there, but she said, mm -mm, not something I'll use. <laughs> so um, I don't know what the success rate of those are, but you know. Um, I agree with her. I think live tissue would be the best way to go. But anyway, I feel good today, so I hope this is an encouragement to you if you feel scared or nervous like I was. Um, I know until you go through it, you just don't know, but I feel like it went good, and I was nervous, but and I'm not going to tell you don't be nervous, because, you know, it, it it is what it is, but I'm doing great, so... See y'all later.